Welcome viewers to today's video, where we discuss President Joe Biden's proposed federal budget capping insulin prices at $35 per month. The proposed cap on monthly insulin costs, part of Biden's Inflation Reduction Act, was set at $35 a month for seniors in January. However, it left out the non-Medicare population. Biden is now pushing for Congress to extend this cap to all Americans. Health Secretary Xavier Becerra affirmed Biden's beliefs, saying no one should have to pay more than $35 a month for insulin treatments. This does not include those uninsured individuals, for whom Medicaid is the most accessible form of health insurance for lower-income individuals. Becerra further noted that the fastest way to lower insulin costs is for the remaining 10 states without Medicaid expansion to do so. Drug maker Eli Lilly was one of the companies to act prior to any mandated federal control, taking it upon themselves to cap insulin treatments at $35 a month for private insurance holders in February. CEO David Ricks pointed out that 7 out of 10 Americans don't use Eli Lilly brand insulin, calling out the federal government and employers to make insulin costs more affordable. Eli Lilly's actions were approved by Biden, who recommended that other manufacturers follow suit. However, some Republican representatives oppose these proposals. Representative Kathy Rogers labeled the Biden administration's efforts as socialist and a federal mandate that would be damaging to market competition. This is an issue debated on both sides, as 40% of diabetes sufferers have private insurance and 5% are not insured, according to the American Diabetes Association. We invite you to join CNBC's Healthy Returns virtual event on March 29th to hear the progress made to date in reinventing the future of medicine, as well as discussing the best investment opportunities in biopharma, health tech and managed care. To learn more and register, follow the link provided. This brings us to the end of our discussion on President Joe Biden's proposed federal budget capping insulin prices at $35 a month. We hope you join us at the Healthy Returns event on March 29th to stay informed and learn more. Thank you for watching.